we're surrounded by the ocean. I believe that that was the best alternative instead of a swimming pool and introducing them to that because uh, there's a little bit different texture to the water, the taste, the sand, all those things. And that's what I wanted to introduce my kids to uh, from the time they were babies. We didn't really come from a rich family or anything, so we really took opportunities. And we don't really come from a surfing background. Um, Dad was a hard worker, a fighter. Um, Mom was, she wasn't really into any sports at all. And, um, what they did for me was keep my, me and my sister in sports, in the ocean, um, just keep, kept us busy and kept us grounded. You know, I pushed him into waves and, and um, you know, we entered a few Menehune contests and stuff, but he still really wasn't into it until my daughter had won a surfboard in a Rail Sun Menehune contest. But by the time she got it, she was growing so fast that she outgrew the board and had no use for it. So I offered it to my son and my son said, no way, I ain't gonna ride that. It's got the little mermaid on it. So I dressed it up to be a boy's board and then, uh, and then he said, okay, I'll, I'll try it now. And then he did his first turn on it and then he was hooked ever since. grew up surfing Kiwalas together and um, you know him and Zeke and Derek Wong there was a bunch of boys and we'd always we'd always go there after school and you know there was a time where Keanu would pal around me all the time and dad's like you gotta just you gotta stand up to him you gotta like you know catch your own waves and so after a while I started standing up to him and, and we actually ran a couple heats together and I, I do feel like being able to surf with Keanu and Zeke and and those guys has really helped me improve my surfing and my strategy and helped me to become a better competitor. So I'm really thankful. I don't think we, we became like real good friends till we were about maybe like 14, 15. Before that, it was just like almost butting heads. Like full on go to the beach and then bust out the boxing gloves and me and him were just throwing blows. He's pretty much beating me up. He was like, had armpit hair at like eight years old. It was ridiculous. I got second to him probably more than anyone ever. Like I could not, there was a point where I could not beat the kid ever. After that we started traveling together and we started having fun and you know, it was sick. He just, we just started clicking and became one of my best friends and we have the same goals and dreams and you know, he's just a real good person, he's a good friend. And, and I think it's just funny about all the stories we used to have about competing against each other and boxing and butting heads and, and now we're just the best friends, so it's, it's pretty cool. As much as they are good friends, the competitors and respect that about each other and know how to leave it in the water and not bring it back to shore. So that part, as far as uh, sportsmanship and, and uh, respect for one another, I think it's, it's, a, it's a great thing, you know. I think we've been working like over 15 years together and having Wade Takora as my shaper is very fortunate to have him in my career and, and helping me do what I do. Whenever I see him, it's always the same. A lot of aloha and just real positive and with his family, the dad, like him, Tommy and Keanu still always come here when before he couldn't drive and stuff. So they were always, you know, coming over, bringing us food and like it was always a, you know, good experience working with Keanu. see people and um, you know you always think anything is possible anything is possible but I worked my whole life to, for this for this moment and this time in my life to to really embrace this and it's coming closer to to the time of of the beginning of a new chapter in my life and I know that when I'm going and putting this jersey on that I've done all the work leading up to this point and there's no looking back or second guessing you know, I'm excited to throw that jersey on at Snapper and and just 
let everything go you know this is what this is what every every surfer dreams of and i get this chance to surf against my heroes my whole life and now it comes a reality and i couldn't be more ready